All right, so I got my new computer. And as you can see, things have changed. It's okay. Don't freak out. I'll explain. Uh, <laughs> welcome welcome to a new kind of micro vlog intro I'm going to be doing on some videos. Uh, particularly videos of, of series that don't already have an intro, like Xenoblade Chronicles, RimWorld, Asher. Those series already have an issue. Those are series like I hold, like near and dear to my heart like i want to treat them as special and unique while other videos i want to be more lighthearted and fun and more and less about the game and more about me if that makes sense and so it makes sense in those series to begin the videos with you and me having a little chat face to face to lens um so these videos will kind of be a micro vlog they'll they'll talk about anything i need to announce uh, what's coming up uh, it helps keep me to a strict schedule so I can tell you exactly what's coming up. Um, but yeah, so I got my new computer. I got a green screen as well. And uh, it's it's working out pretty well. I've still got some kinks to work out. My hair doesn't really work all that well with a green screen. Granted, no hair really does. But like with the beard and stuff, there's just more lines where the green doesn't go. I mean, even on my hands, I gotta, I gotta work out the tweaks. I gotta figure out what works best. Maybe try some different plugins and stuff, but it's good enough. And so I thought it'd be funny though, if for these intros, I use the green screen instead of the, the black and white grid that I had before, the, the little divider thing, which is holding up the green screen. Um, I thought it'd be cool if I made a fake backdrop, kind of like what B-Dubs does. If you've ever watched B-Dubs stream, uh, he, he's like, he he's taken on this joke persona of a trucker. And so in his streams, when he's not playing games, it looks like he's in a truck. Like his little his little face is like down in the corner like he's driving a truck. And then when he goes into the game, it still has like the wheel overlay in front of him and stuff. It's a really clever setup and I really liked the idea of it. And I always talk, tell my wife like, I can't wait for us to move into a new house where I can have a room just to record. And I can have a room with a shelf for all my cool stuff. And I can put my Ryback stand up poster. I don't really have a Ryback cardboard cutout, by the way. He, that's a joke because he's a joke. Uh, you know, a cool FTL poster, which is a legit poster you can buy. And then the Hill Dragon, the Hill Dragon uh, prank uh, screenshot. Lots of fun stuff and, and things will change and stuff just to be funny, just to be cute and and make inside jokes kind of for you to go, ah, ha, ha, he put that moment in the picture and whatnot, stuff like that. Uh, so these videos will kind of serve as an introduction. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One is, it, it, like I said, it gives me a chance to say things outside of the gameplay that that I does that doesn't really fit into the gameplay. And let's say you're just interested with like channel updates and stuff, you could check videos to see if one of these is there, and then just watch the beginning and stop watching if you want to, uh, which would be fine. Uh, but also, and probably the most logistically important reason is a lot of these games I record in large chunks of time and i'm always having to be cognizant of oh wait i've been recording for 20 minutes i need to stop this episode soon but with this sort of intro because I, I don't like having a video just start i'd rather have a welcome back everyone to prison architect prison architect's a good example of that i get lost in prison architect the same with RimWorld, except with that i shot myself in the foot by giving it an intro so i have to find the time to stop but point being I, I want to start every episode by welcoming you. And so that means when I'm recording long sessions that are going to be broken up into multiple videos, I have to be very cognizant of my time. With this, I don't have to. I say my welcome here. I give you updates or whatever. I maybe tell you what's going to happen in the episode. And then we get into the episode and it just starts. And I like that. I think I want to like that better. I don't want to say I like that better because I don't know yet. Uh, but we're going to try it. So you're going to be seeing, because of the new computer and the and the, the green screen and stuff like that, you're going to be seeing me try some different things. Please feel free to give me feedback. Like, let me know, does, does this just look stupid? Or is this as funny as I think it is? Uh, because I think it's pretty darn funny. Uh, but you're not going to hurt my feelings if you believe otherwise. Another thing this intro is going to serve for is a bit of a, a bit of a, a, an age maturity warning. There are games I'm wanting to play that I either haven't played because of the maturity or my computers couldn't run it well, which is most of them. I wanna be able to play those because, because let me clarify something. I try my best not to classify myself as a family friendly channel or like, a, or, or like that I provide family friendly content. 
I prefer the phrase, I provide family-friendly commentary. I didn't want to put myself in a box of only playing, you know, teen or less than teen rated games. Like, I like some more mature games. I do, and I want to play them. And, and, and like, like if I were to do Witcher 3, uh, which I wouldn't because I'm doing a podcast, uh, an audio Let's Play of that. I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the description. Uh, but I'm doing an audio Let's Play of that because there's a lot of, like, nudity and sex in it. And I don't... I don't want that on my channel. YouTube doesn't want that on my channel. And so, but if I were to do that, if there was a game where something like that happened, I would just edit that part out completely. I could just tell you what happened if I needed to, or just pretend like it didn't exist. And so this intro will serve as a warning uh, to kids and parents that, hey, this isn't a video your kid should probably be watching, not because of me, but because of the game I'm playing. And I figure that's a clever idea, uh, a good, clever way to do it. I got the idea really uh, from from Kenai because Kenai is really big on putting the rating of the game in the intro of his videos or in the thumbnails or somewhere in there. Can't remember where all he puts it, but he puts it in there. Um, I'd like to take it a step further and be like, the I'll begin every episode of those games with me saying, "Kids, go get your parents' permission before watching this video. Go now, go." Listen to me. Go. Don't get me in trouble. Don't get you in trouble. Go talk to your parents. Oh, it's also a warning to my son. Carter, this is not one of daddy's videos you should be watching. <laughs> uh, so what else did I want to talk about? Uh, what's coming up? I have already recorded the next Asher. My Skyrim transfer to the new computer was flawless. So we got a new Asher coming up soon. It's not like a real episode. It's more of a test episode where I talk about you know, what's different, what I'm having to fix and fixing it in the video. But I needed to get a test out and I didn't I didn't want to just waste all the footage. So we're going to be putting that out. That'll be episode 12 coming out on Sunday. Um, as for today's Minecraft video, you should be seeing that uploaded tonight, which is Thursday. I'm recording this Thursday morning. And yeah, so I think that's about it. I'll pass it over to future Kyle as he starts playing Minecraft with you. All right, so I'm heading back to my brother's place to shear some sheep. Oh, jeez. Where's my bow? Ah, oh, crud. Crud, what's attacking me? Oh, no, oh, many guys. Many guys, no. No, no, no. God, why am I not hitting him? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Seriously, why am I not hitting them? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm not hitting them. Okay, there's one. Okay, okay, just one. <laughs> okay, uh, we got that. All right. Um, crud. Oh, where'd my food go? Why did I put the food up? Oh, this is not a good start to this episode. So, uh, where's all my food? Where? Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go home. Where, where, mm. wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I got my taters now. Maybe I'll just go to my brother's house from here. Maybe that's a safer route to take. So yeah, I think uh, while I was rambling in the intro to this, I forgot to mention, let me know your thoughts on like webcam, like face cam stuff. Let oh yeah, this is way closer. I'm coming over here to shear some sheep is what I'm doing. I need more, uh, I need some more wool. Um, but let me know your thoughts. I'm of the, I'm of the belief that I like face cam when it's done every now and then. Okay. He doesn't have a single color that I need. Um... Huh. Huh. Crud. Crud, crud, crud. Like, I had some of the color I need from killing sheep, like, way long time ago, but I don't have... I only have, like, one of them left. Uh... Where, whoa, okay, I need... I need... Oh, 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 what do I need? I need bones? And I need... Oh, crud. How am I supposed to find squid ink? Are there squids in here? Is this deep enough for squids? I don't see any squids! Uh, 
Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Squids don't squids don't appear in cold biomes. Oh man! Ah, nuts! Uh, I love how it cued the sad music for me. All right, let's... Uh, I don't think I have any squid ink anywhere. Let me go check it. How do we get in this place? I realize I could just go in fly mode and hop over, but I figure I need to find the actual entrance. Oh, I sh I really thought he had some gray wool. I had I had some I have some gray wool from earlier, but I'm all out now. All right, Brian, I'm gonna come sneak around in your place and see if you maybe have some uh, some dyes. What is this? What in the world? Why is that sitting there? Is it like the storefront or so what is this? Culliffin's Apothecary. Oh, cool! Oh, this is so cool! Look at that! Look at that! That's so cool. Okay, let's look in here. Drat. All right, I may just have to go give myself this wool and creed if I don't need much of it. Drat. Oh, Brian! Oh, Brian, this is so cool! I'm so glad I came in here. I hadn't actually like, look, look at this church. That is so neat looking. Oh, that's neat. I really like that. First church of nature, druidic. <laughs> uh, is this a prison of some sort? Something. Meat hut. Look at, look at the slab of meat. Oh, that's awesome. The Wall Forge. Bushel's wholesome vegetables. Oh, Brian, the, the role play you're doing, this is fantastic. Circuit House. That's funny. Oh, I don't think, I don't think he's gonna have it. So I'm just gonna give myself to it in creative. Call me cheater all you want, but it's for entertainment value. So I'm gonna need one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So nine of each. So I need eight more of the light gray wool. And that's all I need. So let's uh let's put that here and let's go back to regular mode. Cause I'm I'm I listen, <clears throat> it is a hard it is a, oh, I don't even have, I don't know that I have enough blue to do. Well, you can kind of see what we're going to do today. We're working on some banners. Because what I've decided I want to do is on this tower, remember how I said there was going to be like a big light source? Kind of like a lighthouse, but more like just like for show. Well, this section up here, right about here where these torches are. Whoops. Whoops. Hello. Where's the shift key? Right here. <clears throat> like out these windows, there will be some sort of flame or something shining out of these. Um, and then it'll be the banners and then it'll be another light source. Uh, so that's what I've got for the banners. Do I have all my dirt? Yeah, I have my, my scaffolding. Got my scaffolding. It's very important. Uh, so that's the banner. So let's let's take a look at how we're doing this. Uh, how did I do this before to get out there? I think I just built this out. There we go. Just do a little floating scaffolding. Uh, and then I'll need one. Uh, oh, whoops. I need it there. There. So what we do for this band. Oh, whoops. Nope, that wasn't the right place. Hold up. Hold up. Back it up. Back it up. Give me that. Give me that wool. I need that wool. I need that wool. Oh, my goodness. If I fall. Oh, well, there is a. There's just a balcony down there. Give me that. There we go. Okay. Oh, whoa. What? Dang it. <laughs> Mm 
Okay, we made it. There we go. Wool there, wool there. And the and oh, still not the right place, Kyle. There. Uh, and we're gonna go, we're doing it that diagonal so that it's like it's almost like it's tied to it right there. So we got two in there, two in there. Oh, and now I need to go down. Drat. Forgot I needed to be lower too. Come on, give me some dirt somewhere. Place. Pla place, it's not reaching. Dad gummit. <laughs> this was much smoother the other day. That's not lower, that's the same height. What's wrong with me? All right, here's what we're gonna do. I need to tear away this dirt anyways. Where's my shovel? I had the shears out to cut the wool, but obviously I need the shovel more. Okay, so. Let's go down here. Oop. And here's the design we're doing. We've got uh, yeah, one more row straight across like this. So the, the divot there is kind of like it's drooping a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, and then one more. <clears throat> and then we've got, and I actually think I want to test this. Come on, I want to go a little bit lower. A little bit lower. There we go. I want to test it the other way and see what I like better. I'll actually, I'll do both and leave them and let you guys kind of tell me what you like better. Unless I see one that I'm like, nope, that's the better one. Uh, so let's clear that out. Give me that one back. <clears throat> the one over there is dark and then light. This one I wanted to do light and then dark. I th think I know which one I'll like better, but I am really curious about your thoughts. So let's get my scaffolding all cleaned up. Set it to daytime. Which, setting it to daytime isn't going to be an, uh, uh, just a willy-nilly thing to do once I update the server to... Uh, I want to go clean up some dirt around there. Once I update the server to 13, or what am I on now? We're on 12 now, I think. Uh, then 1.13 because the new mob is added and if you don't get enough sleep the mob will come to find you it's brilliant it's a really clever design so it actually gives sleeping a real mechanic like there's there's a reason to sleep even if you have administrative abilities hey there's an enderman and a witch and a skeleton all down there sounds like the beginning to a joke oh and i needed more wood forgot all about that so let's head on down let's clear this while i'm here i need to start tidying the place up a bit let's go ahead and set it today and go take a look see which one we like better actually let's just go into fly mode at this point because we can get a much better look at it I think I like the light and then dark. I wasn't going to say, but I think I like the one on the left better. I like the contrast that it provides. You kind of lose the dark when it's in the middle. I do. I think I like that better. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. But I think I like that better. Definitely. So let me show you what other stuff I forgot. I haven't shown you. There's some other stuff I've worked on <clears throat> that you haven't seen since the uh, last episode where I was pranked. I was bamboozled. So I've got this bridge made. I don't remember if you've seen that. Have we seen that? I don't think you've seen this bridge, have you? I'm so lost because I haven't recorded in so long. Well, we'll take a look at this bridge here in a second. So here's here's the hill dragon column uh here's our little intro to this area i like that i like the little in in intro the entrance whoa that seemed like a really big jump i think i just hit the corners just right and it kind of like swooshed me up uh i initially had more diorite in this entrance but i i like it better as the gray it, it helps it helps the, the diorite needs to be a highlight the diorite is a highlight so there was no reason to highlight this entrance really it's it's visible very much already but then i decided 
something I'm going to do over here is actually I can go ahead and kind of start working on that in a in a sense of being able to show you. Um, is I, I had talked about I wanted the intro to come out on this side, and I ended up on this side in the last episode, I believe. And then I was like, oh, well, I actually wanted it to be, or maybe I wanted it to be over here, but I ended up over there. Whatever it was, <clears throat> whatever it was, I've decided something different. I thought it'd be cool to have a bit of a almost decorative balcony thing right here that kind of sticks out from the mountain a little bit. So it would go all around this right here. Like that, uh, except I suppose it would be low. Well, maybe it would be like two leveled. Why not? But there would be there would be some balcony that go out a ways further than this, obviously. And then from this balcony, there would be a path that goes out and around and up the mountain, like I talked about in the last episode. I thought that'd be pretty clever. I like the close quarters of this. I haven't decided yet if I want to de-earthify this area or if I want it to be like this like the stone block steps. So yeah, let's take a look at the bridge real quick. Let's go, just go ahead and hop on down. Oh, I've got a nice little path down, actually. I may have had some water I could hit. I'm really tempted to take on that Enderman. So yeah, here's our bridge. It wasn't wide enough to need like a middle support, I didn't think. But one thing you'll notice is that it's not perfectly diagonal lines. What I did when I built this was I started with... Here, I'll show you over here. I started with perfectly diagonal lines like that. But then I said, nope, I need I need it to like dip up at one point. And then at one point it'll go like that. And so what you end up with with this line is you end up with a more curved looking line. So that's what ended up happening there. And another thing I did was, and this actually helps a lot to be able to view the depth of the bridge. They're offset. Whoa, ha, ah, okay, aha, uh -huh, okay. Jeez, that scared me in my ears. You'll notice they're offset. This one is higher than that one right next to it. What that does is you, no matter what angle you're looking at it from, you see the backside and the front side very clearly, like very definitively you see both. Uh, whereas on these, like from here, I don't see the other side real well. Now I'm not gonna do that over here, but just as like a test, I wanted to do it over here. And I thought it worked really well. Yeah. So let's see, what else do we wanna do today? How long has this video been? You know what, with that long intro that I had, I think that's gonna be it for today. So we had some nice catching up. We had uh, some good discussion about the banners. I'd love to see your comments, uh, which banner you like better. I like the left one better. I definitely like the left one better, but you let me know. Or if you have a different banner design with like those types of colors that you think might be better, I played around with a lot of different designs in creative and that's just what I ended up with liking. Um, and that's gonna, there's gonna be a, a another lit section, like I said earlier, and then a top to the tower. Like that's the top of the tower. It doesn't at all look like what I initially planned on, but I kind of like it. It's different. It's very different than anything else I've built, which is ultimately at this point in my Minecraft career, life, whatever, at this point, that's what I want. I want to do different things. That's why I'm doing this gray structure. I don't, I usually do a lot more wooded or stone, but I wanted to do, I wanted to do gray without the stone. So we're obviously going with the acacia. So, and I've got a lot of acacias to chop down. So we'll probably do that between this and the next episode. And maybe next time we'll finish the tower. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see you guys next time. Adios. Goodbye. I almost forgot that I wanted to also do an outro to these. This will be a really quick thing. I'll cover things like you can click that button that just appeared to subscribe. I'll tell you a little bit about Discord. If you want to join the Discord server, just leave me a message below in the comments. Uh, also, if you want to join the server of the video you just saw, you can be on that server. I just have to get to know you first to get you whitelisted. So join the Discord. That's honestly the best way to get to know me. And we'll see you guys next time with another video. Adios. Goodbye.